So I'm not more it is a valley bar workout. So when we do our valley bar workout, it is really important that you think about all the small pieces. Okay, so that's why I have this angle for feet, and hopefully you can see my feet right here. So we are going to start and shake out those legs, and we're going to zip up whoop, our inner thigh that we have now. We're going to start today going out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I don't have any music playing. One, because my husband's going to have a conference call really soon. And two, because I want you to be able to have your own music on. I've heard that there's a lot of reverberation when I try to have music. So where I'm just mixing it until I get my new camera, hopefully tomorrow. And then we'll have really good quality videos and really good sound and life. We'll just be spectacular. <laughs> okay, boop, boom, boom, boom. One, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. For our last one, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Other side, so go. One, two, three, zip it, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That is your tempo. Modified or not modified, right? Notice that I am barefoot. Um, I suggest you be barefoot whenever you do bar classes. That way you can think about your point and your extension. It's nice to be barefoot every once in a while, you know? I actually am barefoot most of the time. <laughs> Got five. Any of living tennis shoes, bare feet, or my broken socks. That's really all there is. And that was before stay at home orders, too. <laughs> Just kind of constant. Out, down, up, together. Side, flat. Together for three, boom, two, two, boom, 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 one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Last round, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Awesome. So from there, our ankle got a little bit warmed up. We are going to think about tucking that booty underneath, squeezing those legs, really engaging that core as we go down for four. One, two, three. Four, up, five, six, seven, eight. Hey, baby. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you only go as low as you can by keeping that posture. One, two, three, four, up, five, six, seven, eight. Down, one, two, three, Four, up, five, six, seven, eight. You can hold on to something if you'd like to. So if you need a little ballet bar, you're more than welcome to do that. Yeah, the other way is we go down one, two, four, up, five, six, seven, eight, down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, two more, down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, down one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good. Kind of shake out those legs. Now we're going to work a little bit more. Yeah. To the same class. I am shocked that thing is still around in Christmas, just for reference. So now we're going to do a little bit of more of a weight shift and a plie. So we did a plie, we did a weight shift, and now we're going to do both of them. So we are going to start getting our legs together. We're going to go half the side of the work. We're going to plie and come back. Out, down, up, back. Out, down, up, back. So foot first slides on the floor. It's called a tall knee. See? It's been a while since we did classes. Down and then boom, and back. So we slide, plie, up, back. Slide, plie, up, back. Slide, plie. Up, back, slide, plie, up, back, slide, plie, up, back, slide, plie, up, four more, four, four, plie, three, two, and last 
one, two, two, other side. So sorry, everybody on Instagram, maybe a little bit. Anyway, maybe check out my YouTube channel because of the angle from above. As we go out to the side, plie, up, back, side, plie, up, back, <laughs> side, plie, up, back, side, plie. doesn't go up high. So what's really great about ballet bar and balance classes is that really any level can do it as long as you are willing to make the modifications. Um, so I know that like going to ballet bar classes can be really intimidating for some people because you know they don't, they don't look like the instructor or look like the other people in class. And as long as you are okay with just like leaving your ego at the door, 
um, you still should be able to get a really great workout and you should be afraid to um, ask the instructor to make modifications for you. This is, you know, assuming that things are going to go back to normal soon <laughs> and you're going to check out a ballet bar class in person. <sighs> Nothing more. Last one, try to do that leg up. Or 10, Ooh, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and ah. Shake, 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 here. Yeah. All right, so then we have our V on the other side. We zip it up. And we turn the opposite side. Here, up, and back. This side, kick, zoom. Side, kick. Up. Side, kick, zip the legs. Side, kick, zip. 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 Side, up and back. Side, up, back. Side, up, back. For three, kick. Two. And our last one, we're going to try to hold it up there for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Ah, oh, very nice. So, as I was saying, that we have a little harder plie next. So, with our plie this time, if you need the balance of this make sure you're holding on to the handle, okay? Otherwise, our feet are going to be together. We're going to lift up those legs. Tuck the pelvis underneath you really engage that force, and you want to those ribs and the pelvic bone to kind of come together so you're not arching your back like that. So we create, we're gonna go down one, two, and pulse three, four, and up. Down one, two, pulse three, four, and up. Down one, two, pulse, pulse, up. One, two, pulse, pulse. So if you notice, I'm going on to run away as well. You don't have to. Pulse, pulse, up. So you can go flat. After you go down, you can go pulse, pulse, flat footed. Otherwise, you go down and pulse, pulse, up. Pretty Pulse, pulse, up. Pretty Pulse, pulse, up. Pretty Pulse, pulse, up. Pretty Pulse, pulse, up, five more, plie. Pulse, pulse, five, and down, plie. Four, four, up, down, plie. Three, three, up, down, plie. Two, two, up, down, last one. And then pulse, nice and low for a while. You're here. Pulse, pulse. Pulse, 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 four, five, four, three, two, and one. Come up <sighs> and relax. Grab a sip of water if you want to. I'm so help. That help us to get any gold. Stop there. All right. And then we have our leg back behind us for our attitudes. So, Let's do it this version this time. So we have our feet together. We zip up. We have our legs go 45 degrees behind us. Hey, Ella, hold on to your belly button if you need to. Belly button is tight to the spine as we lift. And as my foot is rotating back towards Ella there, that's what we want. Try and keep that first position each way. Leg is super straight, knees not bent. We have five, four, three, two. Last one, lead it up, and then we attitude, extend. 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 As we bend, extend, bend. Five more. Four, five, four, three, two, 
last one, we need to turn it straight. And then now we're going to go a little higher, higher. So using this glute, not your back. Five, six, seven, eight. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more for eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And oh, <sighs> Let's do a change it. That's a problem. All right. So we do both the legs again. We rotate as we go back and plie forward. Hands are at the bar if we need it. As we lift and tap. Lift, tap. Lift, tap. Lift and tap. Lift and tap. Lift. As we bend our knees and in our attitude, and then straight. The attitude, and we're straight. Attitude, straight. Attitude, and straight. As always, if you need the bar, hold on. Try to get lower in the plie. Okay. Straighten, bend, bend, bend. Use some bunch of the arms. You want to? We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one. Good, we it up and then we pulse it higher, higher. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, woo, six, seven, eight, more for eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, and one. Ah, so we need a stretch there. We're gonna go ahead and take that same leg. Hold on to your ballet bar. Cross it over. Two new little figure four stretch. That's a little you know. And we'll get our other leg. Ooh, stretch it over. Good, 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 good. All right, so from here, we're going to work a little bit more on balance, okay? So we're going to have our feet in second position. We're going to whoop, take up the knee underneath, come up the ribs and the hip bones coming together. We're going to slowly raise up. And right here, we're going to bring those heels closer to the ground, but try not to touch them, like, try not to rest it. So you can, like, just graze the floor as much as all the weights in our tiptoes as you go up and lower. Up. One, stay up in the hand, hold on to that belly bar if you need it. Because now we're going to keep our heels up as we plead A for two, row A for two. As we go down, back on up. I'm tucking my pelvis underneath. And up. And down. I'm sorry, Ella. Soon I'll play with the baby girl. Down. And up. And down we go. And up. It's a rainy day here in Charlotte. So we weren't able to play this morning. She has all sorts of energy. Down. And the pre spry for our little 10 year old, huh? She's 10 years. The baby's going up. And I'm more. Up and down. Four. Ooh, up and down. Five. Down and up. And two. Down and up. And we stay up as we pulse two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Ha! Ah. Go ahead and shift those legs out. And next up, we're going to do a little tongue to the front and then a little kick to the back. So, right here. 
here. We're going to come forward, kick, and back. Forward, kick, and back. So forward, kick, and back. Forward, kick, and back. Forward, kick, and back. Practice almost like an extension, if you will. Both counterbalance. Arms right in circles, just so you can see all sides of this. You don't have to, you can't if you want to. <laughs> we have five more for this one. So five, yes, and back, four. Now, how do you do this modify, right? Do ballet bars in front of you and you should hold on to it. All right, so this is your modification. Hold on to that bar as we do. Two more. Two. Boom. Boom. Last one. All right, go back to that posture again. Hold on to your bar if you need it. Ooh, I'm sorry, I need it today. All right, go up on the toe and down. Up on the toe, down. Ooh. <laughs> Now y'all know I'm human, right? So it's like, I'll just here we go. Ooh. On the toe and down. Toe and down. Toe. Five more. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Very nice. All right. So we have our other side to attend to. So we start with our leg in the first position. We zip it up as we. Lunge forward, tongue forward, and lift that back leg. Hands down. So tongue to lift and back. 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 Up, over, back, and up. And we have five more. Forward, back, and up. Forward, back, and up. Forward, back, and up. Forward, back, and last one. Forward, back, here. And now we'll have our hands at that ballet bar. Our foot behind, engage in that core, and we try to go. On the toe, and down. So. So, down the bar, so, 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 we're going to be in second position. We're going to play a really nice knee. We're going to bring those arms up. We're going to exhale to one side and move it all the way down. And we're going to it back. So we can play. Go up, reach the other side, and then slowly. For that, we just should do it a little slower when you do not as big. So, of course, our feet in first. We're going to drift to the side, let the arm come up, go down, and then switch sides as we Two arms, and we go around. 
And then last one, lay eight. Hip, arm, and the neck. All the way around. So if this would be a nice stretch for you, a little good warm-up, I would suggest doing one of my other ballet classes or maybe um, you know, on a Sunday Friday, so you're super warm, your heart lights up, and your legs are all stretched out. So I hope you enjoyed today's karma class, bar class, and I 